some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we have a more sovereign citizen who decides he wants to uh, withdraw some money out of his bank account and presents his Morsh uh, ID. But of course, the Morsh ID is a fraudulent piece of crap, so uh, they refuse to take it, and he ends up calling the police on them. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yeah, she's calling you uh, the cops. I'm not. I'm not afraid of uh, calling the cops. I got everything. I'm filming this now. So, so are you discriminating against my nationality, my right to a uh, bank here? Uh, dude, can you show me where it says in the Constitution that the right to bank is a uh, thing? Because I've never seen it. And plus, they're not discriminating against your uh, so-called nationality, considering that uh, they probably do business with all kinds of foreign entities, but the foreign entities follow the necessary requirements of that particular bank. However, you are not a foreign entity. You are probably a U.S. citizen who got it in their head that you are a descendant from some Moorish empire that never existed and has conveniently forgotten to leave any evidence behind if they did exist at all. My First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, are you discriminating? Are they discriminating against your First Amendment right? Uh, let's see. Have they violated your uh, ability to redress your government? Uh, nope, because they're not a government agency. Uh, have they violated your uh, religious rights? Nope. Have they violated your right to freely assemble while protesting? Uh, nope, they haven't done that. Have they violated your freedom of the press? Uh, nope, they haven't done that. Have they violated your free speech? Not that I know of. And all that would be a valid concern if this were a government agency, but it is not. It is a privately owned bank. And your Fourth Amendment right in this particular occasion is not a concern anyway, considering this is not a government or law enforcement agency that uh, could possibly violate it at any point. Point. It is a privately run business that would require your identification for security reasons anyway. So here's what I'm going to do for you. Since you haven't proven you have the intelligence to do much of anything, I'm going to give you a box of crayons and you can go to the kitty table and consume as many of them as you want while the adults talk, okay? Well, she's calling the cops. Hi, this is Carmen Oliver. No kidding. So that's what I'm. That's what I've been wanting to do for a long time. So he's on the phone with the well, uh, so I just need him to well, my bank Well, probably needs to be educated. Most likely educated. Dude, what did I tell you? Now go back to the kitty table and uh, start consuming those crayons like you like to do. Because you know what? You're the one who needs the education in this scenario. And you are most certainly going to get it when you are escorted out the door. Yeah. 
Well, the cops should be here in a few minutes. And I've been coming here for like years and they all of a sudden don't know me now. Okay, so you had no problems up until this point. Let me ask you something. Did you just start presenting that more soft hard ID as a replacement for uh for the actual legal ID that they require? Because that would be an understandable rationale for them uh, not recognizing you at that point. Okay. Well, I got plenty of minutes on my phone. I got plenty of minutes on my phone. And I have a camcorder. I always keep a camcorder with me just in case BS happens. No, just um, withdraw some money from my account. Yes. Oh, um, I have a saving account. No, I, I, I never used the bank card ever. Okay, um, let me see. Well, they're, they're not going to do anything, but it's time for an education anyway. Hmm. Yes. Uh, in the meantime, all my money is in the bank. Yeah, but I need a bank card. Where do I get a bank card? How do I get a bank card? When you present valid ID. No, never had a bank card in my life. Uh, she said I need a valid ID. Yeah. So, it should be on their way. And it's taking longer than usual. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, everything open. We can, um, I just put this on oh, YouTube. Day. I just put this on YouTube and let everybody know. What, letting everybody know how ridiculously stupid you are? Putting the world on notice that you are a Morse soft hard that has no uh, inkling of what a proper ID is when it comes to banking. Oh yeah, and you mentioned earlier that you never had a bank card in your life. Would you use checks before? Uh, you do realize in a lot of places that your checks still require the proper ID. But of course, I'm sure you somehow managed to get by all that as well. If you uh, had always had that uh, more sovereign citizen ID BS... been coming here for years you didn't have to show ID now all of a sudden I need I need to show ID Yeah, my ride is waiting for me. I, I should have been gone already. This is why I need a car. 
oh, so you don't have a car, but you would like to have one. Uh, you do realize that uh, in the state of Michigan, you are required to have a driver's license. Hell, in every state in the union and just about every country that I know of, you still have to have a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle. And that more sovereign citizen ID BS uh, that you got out of a Cracker Jack box won't exactly help you out on the highways when you pull it out when a cop pulls you over because you refuse to have plates on your uh, vehicle as well. Hmm. Well, they're taking their time. Nope. 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 Yeah. Is that so? Under what law? Under what law? Hey, dude, you need to pull your head out of your ass, stop drinking the lead paint, stop munching on the crayons, and realize that this is a privately run business that can kick you out at any given time. They have the right to tell you if you can or can't film inside of their private business. You do not have Is that law or policy? Is that law or policy? Okay. I've been coming here for years without a problem, and now I have a problem. Yeah. First Amendment protect their right. Remember that. Time for an education. Have you got an extra go to 10 line? All I want is withdraw my money out of my account. That's all I want to do. I've been doing it for months and Sundays without a problem. Well, she's behind a three inch thick plastic. It's not in the form of a gun. And I'm only filming her. I want to uh, take 850. Yes, ma'am. Right, right okay? okay, right she is the supervisor. Listen, yes. Huh? <laughs> 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 nope, she hasn't shown me anything. She keeps saying ID, better ID, state ID. Is it so. still up? I was here last month without a problem. Uh, why don't you show me some documents that's saying that I need a license ID card when I came here last month and before that and a month before that without any problem. You do know I have an account here. Oh, she's ignoring me now. <laughs> you would make a laugh out of this right? <laughs> what would we do without you? <laughs> All I want is to withdraw my money out of my account and go on about my business. And I'm still here. My ride is waiting for me outside. You got things to do. Well, then, the solution is quite simple. Present the proper valid state ID that they require. But, of course, you being a more sovereign citizen, you probably have never had it since you joined that cult. So, uh, good luck with getting your money out of there. And it's taking a long time for the cops to get here. 
Well, all he does for the next 15 minutes is just stand around waiting for the cops to show up. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to that point because we don't want to see all that. Four to six days later. Hello. So, Hi. What's going oh, on? Man. What's your name and your badge number? I'm Officer Hines, badge number 57. Okay, um, I'm trying to withdraw money from my account. And okay. it's saying that my Morris ID card is not valid, so... Oh, uh, what's your name? Uh, I didn't give it. So you want to speak to my attorney? Because I have him on the phone sure. right now. He's on, it's on speakerphone now. Oh, hello, sir? I'm good. What's going on today? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what their policy is. Apparently they have a policy on which form of IDs they'll accept and what forms they will not, and I can't tell them what, uh, what their policy is. But if um, he's in here causing a disturbance or they don't want him to be here, he's going to have to leave. I mean, coming here. Okay. All right. Well, let me talk to the management here and see how they want to handle it. Obviously, this is their grounds and this is their property. So, if they don't want somebody on their property, they have to leave. But let me see what they want to do or see if I can get this resolved so that everybody's happy. Okay. All right. There you go, buddy. Are you the manager? I am. Okay, let's go back here and talk real quick. Yeah, I've been coming. I've been coming here for months. Eventually. Uh, we can't no, do that. We it's, it's a so first still, amendment protector uh, right. Can't delete okay. it. Listen, the uh, bank wants you to leave their property now. So yeah, you're going to have to leave or you're going to be arrested for trespassing. Yeah, they're, going, they're telling me I need to leave now. Mr. Studsell, you got to go. Yeah, they're telling me they're going to arrest me for trespassing. And, uh, I just came here. Uh, there was something smaller than 100. Let's talk outside. Come on. Oh, you, can you give me documentation on why you're refusing my nationality card? She wants you to leave. She's not going to do that. If you want to talk with the corporate office or something like that, you can, but this particular branch doesn't want you on the property right now, so we have to go. Okay? Let's go, oh, please. They're telling me to leave. Mr. Stutzel, you have to start moving, please. So, um, what's the next best thing now? Because they're telling me I won't... Uh... Dude, are you deaf and stupid? They just told you you've been trespassed. You have to get off the property. So, leave now before you are arrested. It is that simple. You have to be... I'll leave? Removed from the premises. Start walking. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well... I hope you're not driving. Uh-oh, dude, they're on to you. They know that you're a uh, Moorish Savtard who's quite capable of uh, driving without a license considering that you just tried to pass off your Moorish ID card in a bank. Not a very bright idea. But, of course, that's what I've come to expect from the uh, Sovereign Citizen movement as a whole. Not just the Moorish Savtards, but the movement as a whole. Uh, as far as the intelligence quotient goes, it is very low indeed. I know you don't have a license. He said, hope you're not driving because you don't have a license. Well, yep, that's both threatening me with the arrest. There's no threats, bud. All right, what now? 
Well, that's the end of the video, folks. Uh, so far, I have not seen any videos coming off of his channel where he's driving without a license. So he might actually have some amount of intelligence to him. After all, he may actually realize that the more sovereign citizen ID thing won't exactly help him out on the uh, roads anyway. But as far as that goes, uh, he might be one of the rare ones. But still makes me wonder, how does he get anything done, considering that uh, there's a lot of places that you definitely need a government-issued ID to get any service out of. So, how does he get by? At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.